Chapter 1. Demonic Spirits Intervening. The demonic spirit is associated with Beelzebul aka Beelzebub, the Philistine god that was worshipped and later adopted as a major demon. The name is also associated with the Canaanite god Beelzebub. Beelzebul was the chief of the devils, prince of the demons who are associated with Lucifer and Satan. Beelzebul was the second rank of the many fallen angels. Beelzebul appeared as a prince of the demons, who was a leading angel or evening star. Beelzebub has been held responsible for many cases of demonic possession, which can lead to countless dramatic events at the hands of your inquisitors or oppressors, also torture and execution of young women of which a witch is associated. Beelzebul brings dehumanization with destruction or despair through oppressors, in which ministers become excited to lust, both those actions cause jealousy that brings on war and murder, in turn, demons, inquisitors or oppressors, are worshipped by people. The demonic spirit is a mythical theme that involves blasphemy and corruption, sin. The destruction is associated with the seven deadly sins such as anger to bring on wrath, covetousness, envy, gluttony, lust, pride, and sloth. And worshipping false gods seems to be among them. The difference between a good person and an evil person is the good person brings forth good things, and the evil person brings forth evil things. Matthew 12:35. The origin of a demon itself is a hybrid offspring that comes from near death or dead humans and is also known as a disembodied spirit. A demonic aka evil spirit can invade and dwell, they are of the imagination and are of the past. While the soul is current, ongoing, and can be purified. An evil spirit doesn't have to be physically dead to possess a mind. According to modern science, the spiritual or subtle is defined as the world beyond the usage of the five senses intellectually. It is a comprehensive world of spirits, angelic, demonic, or godly. The five senses are used for physical, and the sixth sense is used for non-physical existence. Which means scientifically hearing, smelling, seeing, tasting, and touching things only exist physically. Feelings, ideas, sensing, and thoughts are things that exist non-physically. Human angelic and godly spirits are discerning of God's divine nature. Evil human spirits are dehumanizing, and over time they can become demonic spirits. Invading spirits are classified as evil and are a Judeo-Christian belief. Jesus considered the evil spirits dwelling a mental illness when eventually he would live in our lives as a spirit. Which confuses many people into abandoning paths, or taking paths that could lead to falsehood. His spirit can help those who want to stop believing in evil spirits, to believe in angelic and godly ones to live life more abundantly. Jesus also cast demons out of many people, when in fact he didn't consider the method to be an exorcism but a form of healing. The Holy Spirit of God dominates flesh physically and spiritually according to the gospel, but not without surrendering your heart and soul to him. The sixth sense doesn't get used effectively and acknowledging how and when to use it can help you truly believe that God has a plan and purpose for your life. We will discuss cognitive functions in a later chapter. Though I don't believe an afterlife will exist where every believer will join together with Jesus in the clouds in spirit. Because I believe that everyone has their resurrection near death, and they live thereafter during the current lifetime. In which each individual meets the spirit of God using their creative intuition. Originally it is wise to confirm beliefs and values according to your church affiliation. My beliefs and values come from the early church according to the gospel. Spiritual warfare starts with familiar human spirits, once they have an unclean body or soul of faith in God. If they have avoided the consequence of their evil actions, those past circumstances or events are reasons why the human spirit becomes the enemy. Since they can turn demonic, both in the past time and the spiritual world they play down God's laws that were established for man and womankind. Preventing you from believing great things are possible through the grace of God. This is a tactic they use to deter you defending yourself against them. For the most part, they deny that Jesus is the existent reason for true discernment. Although evil spirits lack true discernment they don't invade a person's mind until their body and soul are dead, or defiled in the physical realm. When their fleshly bodies are dying in the physical world, the spirit travels to a familiar person, someone who was demonized, dehumanized, or tormented upon their behalf. Either dramatic experience can be a part of the manipulation. A person who suffers from demonic spirits starts hearing voices of enemies aka demonic spirits, once they have stopped listening to the guidance coming from authoritative figures. Then it is possible to be possessed with a couple of deaf, dumb, and foolish spirits. Mark 9 17,25 Anyone can become possessed with demonic spirits, once you have fallen from the grace of God. Also, anyone can be possessed by demonic spirits even after demonization or satanic rituals have played out. We all have familiar spirits, we all are spirits in the spiritual realm and can choose righteous or unrighteous discernment.